write the partial fraction decomposition of its rational expression. So the first thing that we will do for this is we need to factor out the denominator. So denominator is x to the third minus x. This is equal to x to the third means there are x multiplied by x multiplied by x. So we have 1, 2, 3. That's why x to the third minus x. Then factors of x is x multiplied by 1. So we can write x multiplied by 1 here. Then the common factor, as we can see, is x. So we have x here and 1x, so we can take that out. Then the remaining is x and x will be x squared, then minus 1. Now, if you remember the difference between two squares, so we have a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b, a plus b. So we can rewrite this into x minus 1, x plus 1. So then we can rewrite our uh, rational expression into with this denominator. So we have 4x squared minus 7x minus 3 over x over x minus 1, x plus 1. Then we can start decomposition of this rational expression. So remember, it is based from the denominator. So we have one, two, three denominator. So we have a over x, our first factor of the denominator, plus b over x minus 1, the second factor of our denominator, plus c over x plus 1, the last factor of our denominator. Then the second step is we will multiply both sides of the equation by the uh, least common denominator, which is the original uh, denominator of the expression. So we have 4x squared minus 7x minus 3 over x, x minus 1, x plus 1. Then we can multiply this by the denominator x, x minus 1, x plus 1. Then the second one, the a over x, we will also multiply this by the denominator x, x minus 1, x plus 1. Then plus b over x minus 1, we will multiply it by x, x minus 1, x plus 1. Then plus c over x plus 1, so hopefully it will fit, so we have x, x minus 1, x plus 1. Then let's simplify this, so we have x multiplied by x minus 1 plus, uh, multiplied by x plus 1, this can be cancelled. Then we have x over x, so this one will 4x squared minus 7x minus 3. And this one, the x is cancelled, so we have a x minus 1, x plus 1. Then we have x minus 1 over x minus 1, so this would be cancelled, so we have b x, x plus 1. Then x plus 1 over x plus 1, this will be c, or plus c, x, x minus 1. Then let's simplify this, so we will multiply this x minus 1 and x plus 1, remember, it came from x squared minus 1 turned to be x minus 1, x plus 1. So we can write it back on the x squared minus 1. So this will be 4x squared minus 7x minus 3. So we just rewrote because we factor out x squared minus 1 into x minus 1 and x plus 1. So when you multiply x minus 1 and x plus 1, it returns to x squared minus 1. Then plus uh, x multiplied by x will be x squared. x multiplied by 1 will be x. Plus uh, c, x multiplied by x will be x squared. x multiplied by negative 1 is negative x. Then we will distribute the a, b, and the c. 
So, this will be 4x squared minus 7x minus 3. So, multiply this will be ax squared. A multiplied by negative 1 is negative 8. Plus, b multiplied by x squared will be bx squared. b multiplied by x will be bx. Then, plus c multiplied by x squared will be cx squared. c multiplied by negative 1 will be a negative x will be negative cx. Then, we will equate the one with the same variable and exponent. So, we have 4x squared equal to ax squared then plus bx squared plus cx squared. Then we have the negative 7x equal to bx and negative cx. Then the last is the constant. So we have negative 3 equal to negative A. So you need to equate the one with x squared, all of them, and the one with the x and the constant. Now since there's only A in the constant, so we can solve the A, so divide this by negative 1. So we can say A is equal to 3. So we can substitute the 3 in this one. So we have 4x squared is equal to 3x squared. Instead of a, we substituted 3 plus bx squared plus cx squared. Then we can divide x squared on both sides of the equation. So we have x squared over x squared is 1. So we have 4x squared over x squared is 1. And x squared over x squared is also 1. And x squared over x squared is 1. Then we can subtract 3 both sides. So this will be 0. So 4 minus 1, minus 3 is 1. So b plus c. Then this one we can divide x both sides. So negative 7 is equal to b minus c. Now, we can equate the two equations. So, the negative 7 is equal to b minus c and the 1 is equal to b plus c. So, when you add this, negative 7 plus 1 will be negative 6. 2 plus b, uh, b plus b will be 2b. Then, negative c plus c will be 0. Then, divide 2 both sides. So, we have negative 3 is equal to b. Then, after that, we need to solve for, uh, for the C. So we will use this. So we have 1 is equal to B plus C. So 1 is equal to negative 3 plus C. So you add 4 both sides. So, oh, 3, sorry. So you add 3 both sides. So we add 3 both sides because it's a negative 3. So you add 3. Add 3. So this will be 0. So 1 plus 3 is 4. And this is our C. Now we can rewrite our equation. So our A is 3. So we have 3 over X. And our B is negative 3. So minus 3 over X minus 1. And our C is 4, so plus 4 over x plus 1. So this is our answer for this problem.